them. Oh, how about that for a start from Dika Mam. Floats across to his right, the arm. Steins out to Tunison with a little spin. Pops it in himself. Can't rob him, Tunison. On the board, one from one for him. Air of killing that two-minute suspension for Frade, who's back in and on the line in the attack. Man wants more, tipped away by Yannick. Oh, he laying it off and well read there by Blas Jans, and he's away like a flash on the counter attack. And right through the arms of Yannick Gren. Well, it's that kind of play that PSG cannot afford. Steins again. Oh, he's through. That's well saved. The breakthrough was nice. The shot was a poor one, though, right at the center of the goal. As Vargas stood strong. Now, Tika Man was floating through the air. Perhaps it was due to the man up situation. Anyway, Steins breaks through again from two for Luke Steins. That is worrying for PSG, as is this a penalty for Melvin Richardson. Richardson earned the penalty, he takes it himself. Uh, and he puts it past the standing leg of Grant. In case PSG do start turning things around, we've got a long way to go. Rondi, oh, that's much better. And Stein stepping out as the shot from El. Interesting to see how this defensive approach from PSG develops. But all that matters really right now is Gonzalo Perez of Argas is picking up where he left off last week. Uh, Blas Jans benefiting from the counter-attack, two for him already, a two-goal lead restored. Who will be moving on to Kiel, not next season, but the season afterwards, and uh, at the top of this 5-1 defense. And a shot off the post. The whistles and boos from the Barca faithful, doing their best. Greta shoots that one across the face of goal and through the legs. Uh, Perez de Vargas, ball into Frade, he's all alone. He evades the defender and the keeper. Uh, places that one in softly into the back of the net. Barca regain it. Fall apart late in the first half and in the final quarter of the game. That's a nice ball into Sule. Sneaky. Charles Bagard shooting wide to the right but inside the fence. Missed. Last time around, then denied by Yannick Gret. He's making some big saves. Here goes down an aggregate. Tunnison. Into Steins. He uh, attempts an in-flight pass to himself. Richardson. Down the right. Across nicely to Carl's Begard. And Jonathan Carl's Begard for the game. And uh, acknowledged his final game here for the club. And so to give a penalty or a suspension. Richardson. To Frade, he tries to get oh, that's smart. Drop. Barca regain the lead once more. A little slip there. Turnover called by the referees. Counter attack. Rino spins it past Yannick Grant. Much to the light of the home crowd. 6v6 defense working out okay for PSG when they're backed by Yannick Grant as well. But the counter attack's really hurting them so far. Nice finish by Sule. Problem. They are sorting for next season. Yaya Omar among the new signings for next year. Ball into the line. Oh, well taken. That's a gorgeous bit of play. Melvin Richard to Montpellier against Kiel. Ball over the top. And nobody hopes to take it. That's the wing. Probably could have taken the shot himself there. Kind of for passive play. And I tell you who doesn't need a second invite to take a shot is Stika Man. Shooting to the bench, not the full way down. And maybe getting a bit of a break, and a uh, Spanish teenager. But, uh, to Karabaric. Prondi. Oh, good finish by Prondi. Oh, this side. But still, uh, punished. Karabaric with a good counter attack. Sliding across, that's his first goal of the day. And a two-minute suspension to go with it. Richardson goes back inside. High challenge. Inside a change left and centre-back pairing. Sakusha trying to get the shot in behind the back, but he earns a penalty instead. And Melvin Richardson he had his previous attempt saved. 
by Gren. And this one saves as well. Tipped out to the left of the goal. Yannick Gren doing his very best times, trying to find a way through here. It's five against five. Oh, how about that for a shimmy and a shake? But it doesn't count. Took a step too many, the big man. Well, that would have been a highlight, right? Not a bad attempt, though. Maybe he's got a future. There's a left back in him if he fancies it. And uh, simple enough chance for Blatt. Sides. Tennyson all alone. And he hits it off the back stanchion of the goal. Almost too much space. He'll be back from his suspension shortly. And it's going to be another penalty in the meantime. Inside defending. And there's Aitor Rodriguez. He's way out to about three and a half meters here. And this time he can't do anything about it. Gomez puts it away. Four goal lead for Barca. Fantastic crowd in the arena tonight. And all having a blast. And if Barca can keep this form up, oh, it's an absolute thunder, you know what, from the backcourt. Halloween now in at right back. That's his usual position. Ah, oh, great pass. Doing what they can. PSG creating the opportunity. He's playing pretty well, but a bit wasteful. And when they're not wasteful, it's just because Perez of Argas is there, denying them time and time again. Denying them time and time again. Carlos Bergard finds a save in the end, amounts to very little they will be attacked on once again and there you go, the save just cancelled out by Melvin Richardson or will it be Sule? it will be, but it's a poor one and it's an empty net to shoot into, passed instead to eight as if they lost the first leg by six not, but they won the first leg by eight as I said before, they're doing pretty much everything they can, except score Bring into the Truck Scout 24 AHF Final Four. Now nicking up every available seat. Except for one tier behind the PSG goal. Al Borgen beating him in the Barca jersey. Right to left. PSG continuing with their aggressive defense. Carl's Begord. Now to his fellow Swede, Hampus Vanna, who comes putting goal. Bronte is going Barca's way. Both have a lot to play for. This season, PSG trying to win the French title in Cologne's Lexus Arena. And hopefully, everyone plays as they should, and there's no injury to take the penalty. The big pole on the line. The big penalty taker bounces that one past Perez de Vargas into the top left hand corner. Quarter finals. Valborg coming from one behind to win by five against. And then earlier this evening. The biggest of them all as the ball tipped away there. Could, it'll also look like that. Cross Bagor into Richardson. Saved down low by Granny. Seems there's no physical hindrances, that's for sure. <laughs> and he firing that ball straight through the head of Perez of Vargas. Look, there'll be a lot of regrets. Even if this game ends up in a heavy defeat. A lot of what's it, what ifs. Uh, Goes in as a second line for the meantime. Ball into the line, and it could be a two minute suspension. The team this season, I skip past that to man, but uh, attacker foul, foul traveling violation, in fact, called. Uh, Luke Steins. Now, he's done any early push of turning this game around. And Carlsbergard denied by Yannick Gren, who on his side has done a fantastic job as well, and keeper of the pairing with Leo Villan. Good perseverance there. But stuck his head in and fired it in. But Luis Friday there to float that one over the defense. And situations when you concede and there's an empty net down the other end, you can't just throw the ball anymore. It has to be accurate, has to be fast, has to evade the defenders and the onrushing goalkeeper. First leg, so he's earned his spot for the second leg. Perez of Argas from the penalty line. And, uh, Hasn't had any joy against Shipshack and Emil Nielsen also with no joy against Kangat. Carl's Begar, 10 meters out, pops it out to Richardson and denied by Gray. By the announcer, going to get stuck into the opposition. And it works a treat. And away comes Blasians on the counter. Uh, another counter attack goal from Barca. That's a soft one for PSG to give away, but that has been the tail of the day.
Donison from 10 meters out. And Not a little bit from him in the game so far. Well capable of it. Shakusha running into trouble. And although they're keeping Deacon M relatively quiet since the opening burst of goals for him. There's so many spaces elsewhere in the court. This year giving more of it to them. Pondy. Nice ball into Luka Karabadic. Uh, takes a heavy touch off the Keekly to make it 12 here tonight. Nicely done. Deacon M sends the entire defense down the river. Feigns the shot, brings everyone up off their feet. And to deliver on the big occasions. I think fewer and fewer questions about that now as he delivers. Playing in the center of defense here, and that is something. Uh, well, he gets taught a lesson now by Deacon M. Stays just a little bit too far back, and Deacon M whips one right. Established. Steins. Pops it out to Tennyson, and a little bit of revenge there. Player wearing his tracksuit top. Nagaro takes the hit, uh, no, nothing given. With here, Luke Steins, he likes this. Dishes it out, oh, it's stolen. His pocket picked by Dikamam, who gets it back from Korsbegard. Dikamam, three in quick succession. I said earlier that he's been kept relatively quiet. Well, he's come out of that now. And he says nine fast break goals. That is uh, devastating from a PSG perspective. Rondi, Tart at the moment. Langaro, uh, he's trying his best here. Uh, Sakusha, looks like he's getting ready to come back in. Uh, this time, there's uh, a second line. Ball into him, also tipped away, this time legally. Karabadic lays it off to Steins. Good pass out to the left. Uh, the does get a run out to number six. The playmaker. Now on the left-hand side, uh, straight into the action. PSG have a lot of pride to play for. As I mentioned before, they have only had one win over Barca. Valera, and a force. It was someone to blame. It was indeed Pelica. He gets away with it. Well, Paul Valera, he gets right back up and he goes again, scoring his second in a row. Playing with from this game. Four down at the moment now. Oh, that's a great finish. Luke. He's had a good game, counter-attacking from the off. Steins sneaking it ah, for the home crowd. You've got to credit them that. Prondi, saved by Nielsen. Overlap down the left-hand side. Valera to Vanna on the wing and saved by Yannick Rehn. Left the near post way open. Tracked the arm very well. Number three in the pecking order right now. Now oh, you can hear how heavy that was from a mile away. Goal number eight for him. And again, position this season. And they've had to find solutions in that playmaker position. Oh, it's a beautiful pass. And the lobs! He's had a couple of lobs, just not quite come off for him. Oh, <laughs> another rocket, a thunderous shot. Halloween Prandi, goal. Right now, 10 goal lead for Barca. Rodriguez denied once again, not by the post this time. In the playmaker position, lays it off to Keita, double bounce across, uh, Tunnison off the end. And will join SC Magdeburg, the reigning champions. Oh, and Valera goes down there. A little bit of uh, contact there with the defense and the ball slipping out of his hands. I did mention earlier that the uh, last thing doing their best to get behind the team again to help push them over the line now. And speaking of us in the Champions League, Sakusha back in now. Deacon M back in now. And he fires that one in through Yannick Gray and goes over to apologize immediately. But Yannick Gray not bothered by it. Tansi to Tennyson. Tansi once more. Oh, Nice breakthrough down the left hand side. They've uh, bowed out at the quarter final and the playoff round, but now in Stefan Madsen's final season will go. League taking place this weekend, so both draws done together, which will be a great event in Budapest. Nice spot with the big, big names being phased out and being replaced by young talents. But the referees don't care. They so pretty much the full squad back in out of necessity. 
with injuries. Um, Fulton. Let's see if we can come up with something special. Oh, he can, Alex Gomez. As cool as a cucumber. He's only been on court for about 50. To Kaita, he doesn't fancy it though. Probably he'll fancy it. Ball into the line instead. And an uh, occasion for him. He's probably known since last week. His team won't be going with five seconds left. Halloween Prandi from long range. Batted away by Amy. Had to do it for PSG. 